Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, we will create a neon light effect in Affinity Designer. Go to File, New to create a new document with the following properties. Grab the rectangle tool and cover the artboard with it. Fill the rectangle with black and lock the rectangle layer in the layers panel. Select the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Click on the document to type your text. Type the first word don't, or whatever your first word is. Go to the Swatches panel and select a light color of your choosing. I chose the fill color. Select the stroke color for the text and give it a light shade too. Make the shade like the fill color but not as light. Go to the stroke panel and increase the width of your stroke to about 13 points. Also go to order and select draw stroke behind. Grab the move tool, hold control and shift on the keyboard while you click and drag a copy of the text. Double click the duplicate of the text and write your next word. Do these same steps until you finish completing your quote or phrase. Select all your text. Go to the font family, type in Neon 1, the font you downloaded, and select it when it appears. With the text still selected, align your text to the center. You might need to group your text first. Right click on all the text, make sure all your text is selected, and select Convert to Curves. Go to the Layers panel, select all the text. Right click on the selection and select ungroup or press Ctrl plus Shift plus G. With all the layers still selected, go to the layers menu and select expand stroke. In the layers panel, you should see a copy of each of the letters. One is the fill of the letters, the other is the stroke of the letters. Group the letters that are already selected, the letters that have the darker color, by pressing Ctrl plus G. Go to the Layers panel, select all the other letters and group them together. In the Layers panel, select the first group, then select the FX for Layers effect. Select the Gaussian Blur, increase the radius to about 10 pixels, then close the Layer Effect box. Select the second group, then select the FX again and select Gaussian Blur. Increase the radius of this group slightly by 0.5 pixels or 1 pixel. In the Layers panel, select the first group and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus J. Select FX from the Layers panel. Set the radius of this to 100 pixels. In the Layers panel, lower the opacity of the duplicated group to 75%. To change the color of your text, select the Adjustment icon in the Layers panel, then select the HSL Adjustment. Adjust the Hue Shift and the Saturation Shift until you get your desired color. To make your neon effect even more realistic, go to pexels.com, search for dark room or dark brick wall pictures. In Affinity Designer, select the Place tool and select your image you downloaded. Hold Shift and drag the image across the document to cover up the artboard. Then with the image still selected, drag the image above the rectangle layer in the Layers panel. After that, resize your text to fit your desired design. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss an upload.